Convinced her friend Colin Hastie was a pedophile, Danielle Cheryl Erica Butel brutally assaulted the 63-year-old for days in order to gain a confession. After Hastie died in April 2019, audio of 13 interrogations found on Butel's phone indicated he was struck almost 250 times. Suffering a psychotic illness exacerbated by substance abuse, Butel can be heard making delusional claims amid Hastie's screams, Brisbane Supreme Court heard. Read more. Police charge man who allegedly pickpocketed grandfather at Melbourne Rsalsh not only believed Hasty was involved in a pedophile ring but also a DNA experiment, accusing him of stealing 16 fetuses from her to create a superior race. Butel, now 43, also claimed Hasty had injected her with the SARS virus as well as mercury. The court heard witnesses had seen Butel behaving erratically, repeatedly punching Hasty and accusing him of being a pedophile up to six days before his death at Malony, north of Brisbane. One witness said Butel described Hasty as putrid scum and that she was going to take him out to a forest to kill him. She told another that Hasty had stolen her eggs and DNA. Read more, new PTSD treatment to help veterans after damning report others noticed Hasty with facial bruises and looking defeated and severely beaten. Days later another witness went to Hastie's house after hearing yelling and was initially stopped by Butel from entering before seeing the 63-year-old inside with two black eyes and a bleeding arm. Police were called but when they arrived at Hastie's house, no one was home. Later that morning Butel visited a neighbor and asked them to call the police because Hastie had fallen down the stairs. Hastie was pronounced dead at Malini Hospital a short time later. His injuries were consistent with being struck with a broomstick or a metal rod and he died from complications from multiple blunt force injuries, his autopsy said. Butel repeated her bizarre claims about Hasty when interviewed by police. She also told officers she was related to the Queen and that she could get justice through her connections. Read more, Metro trains to offer free travel due to poor performance police then found her phone audio recorded over two days that included 248 striking sounds and hasty groaning, screaming in pain and begging not to be hit anymore. One of the recordings, lasting 13 minutes, was set to be played on Wednesday but Justice Paul Freeburn opted to listen to it outside court. Butel was suffering from a serious mental illness that caused a psychosis made worse by alcohol and drug consumption at the time the court heard. The tragic death of Colin Hastie was caused by a woman who was completely detached from reality, defense barrister Catherine Morgan said. She said psychiatric reports indicated at the time Butel was floridly psychotic, driven by the intensity of her delusions. She was a very unwell woman, Morgan said. The fact that Butel was recording her repeated assaults of Hastie indicated the depth of her psychosis, she said. Morgan said Butel's psychosis was now in remission and that she had gained insight with improved mental health, acknowledging that her bizarre ideas were now false. Butel pleaded guilty to manslaughter and will be sentenced on Thursday, 